Hey everyone, what's up? My name's Alex, aka Ronder, coach of the Seattle Star Raptors, here to bring you my LSBA Season 4 Week 1 matchup against the Poor Dangerous Titty Ursas. So, just before I text him to get ready for the match, I'm going to preface this video with the fact that I'm going to be doing a live recording today, so the battle's going to happen live on screen for you and I'm going to commentate over it. Uh, just to start out, I'm going to quickly run over my team again, although I have an hour-long video dedicated to the building of it, but here we go. So, we have Volcarona, Beat Mania, who's my main win con for the match. Uh, basically, my strategy here is to try and get a Volcarona sweep going as soon as I get uh, all of its main walls, such as Pukumuku and kind of Dusclops out of the way. Uh, we have Meloetta and Como, uh, Serenade and Falsetto, who are kind of my bulky defensive core type thing, and basically just my support Pokemon. They cover the moves that I need to succeed, like Knock Off, Taunt, Heal Bell, uh, Dragon Tail potentially, that kind of stuff. Uh, Breloom, Salsa, is going to be my main Pukumuku answer, as well as just a wall breaker in general. If I can get a SD up, I can potentially do some wall breaking with Mach Punch. Uh, Jazz, my Staraptor, is going to be my main revenge killer, but it also is my answer for a few key threats, such as Mega Heracross and Darmanitan. And then there's Jirachi, who... Uh, let's see, actually needs Choice Scarf as well. Glad I caught that. And Jirachi is basically here mainly for healing wish support on Staraptor or uh, Volcarona, whoever needs it. But also with Zen Headbutt can do damage and potentially kill Crobat and Iron Head for Florgist. So that is the team. I'm going to go ahead and text Jacob and get this thing on the road. Alrighty, the text has been sent off, so as soon as Jacob gets that, we will be starting our battle. So, just to quickly talk about it, things that I'm expecting to see at Team Preview... Uh, definitely Mega Heracross. I'd be very surprised if Heracross doesn't show up. Uh, Pukumuku, since I have Volcarona, and Pukumuku is one of the main things that takes out Volcarona. Um, if we see a uh, Darmanitan, I'm running under the assumption that it's going to be Scarf Darmanitan. Uh, let's see. If I see Crobat at Team Preview, I'm almost guaranteed leading Jirachi because I'm really concerned about Jacob setting up a Tailwind with uh, Crobat and then transitioning into Mega Heracross just to run amok essentially. That's something that I really don't want to happen. Uh, let's see, similarly, if I see both Electrode and uh, Raichu on the team, I'm going to lead Star Raptor instead probably, since Star Raptor can also take out Crobat, but like... <laughs> Something that I had pointed out to me is the combination of Electric Terrain Electrode with right Alolan Raichu's ability. That's something that I also don't want to happen, so I'm going to be watching out for that as well. Uh, just waiting, I think he's setting his team to level 50 now. And we are looking for the IGN Bidoofer, although I told him to send me the challenge, so... I think when he's ready in a second here... Oh, here we go! Versus Port Angeles Teddy Ursus, week one. Accept! Uh, your team was... Hmm, let's see. Hold on, so apparently it doesn't like my Volcarona set to level 50, because it needs to be at least level 59 to be evolved. So, I will cont message him really quick. Uh, let's see, I guess since Volcarona evolves at level 59, it won't let me do level 50 long. Is there another format? Or maybe just do 100?
Uh, hopefully we can get this worked out. That's This is one of the first times that I've done a level 50 battle on... Uh, on... Showdown, so... Yeah. Hopefully we can get this resolved quickly. Alright, so we're going to quickly go in and change all of my stuff to level 100. That's... I had wanted to do level 50 just to remain consistent with all of the cartridge matches, but it's not a big deal. That's the, uh... Damage calcs change a little bit at level 100, but not significantly. And none of the things that I was looking at were, like, a significant change. So we should be good to go. Definitely looking forward to this match though, that's... Uh, I don't know if I can actually win this one just because Jacob's team defensively covers my team pretty well. That's kind of like I talked about in the team preview, or team preparation video rather. Uh, I have things that theoretically cover all of Jacob's stuff on my team, but like everything's not super well covered, so we'll see how this goes. And now the battle goes through as expected. Alright, so on his team we see Sand Slash, Mega Heracross, Pukumuku, uh, Dusclops, Ditto, and a Lowland Raichu. So, let's see. No Crobat and no Electrode, so I don't have to lead with any of the things that I talked about, like, for sure leading with. Uh, but what I think I'll do is go ahead and lead... Uh, let's see, I will lead Staraptor, I think, or Jirachi. You know what, I'll lead Jirachi just because I don't want to put Staraptor in very much danger if I don't have to. That's, again, like I said, Staraptor is a big thing that can take out Mega Heracross, which is important. Um, so I'm not going to leave it in in front of Raichu if he throws Raichu out, because I'm half suspecting Raichu to be Scarfed just to deal with Staraptor. However, if I find out that Star er, Raichu's not Scarfed by some means, I'm not sure what that would be, then U-Turn does a lot to Raichu. Basically, I just don't want Staraptor to take collateral damage if it doesn't have to. Uh, Jirachi, on the other hand, his only job is really supporting Staraptor, kind of. Neither Fortress nor Crobat showed up, so neither of the things that I wanted Jirachi to try and kill are here, so... Literally, it's just here to pivot, which is exactly what I'm going to do with it. Oh, and I have my handy-dandy sketchbook next to me, so I'm going to really quickly write down his team. This isn't as important on a showdown match, since uh, I have access to his whole team at all times, and also... Go for it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I have access to his whole team just right over here. And I can scroll up to find out his movesets, however, it's always just nice to uh, kind of keep a log of different things to do. So this is already unfortunate because he's probably going to set up rocks against me. What I think I'm going to do is just click Zen Headbutt and see what he wants to do. I'm not terribly, cons I'm not terribly concerned about an earthquake off of Sand Slash. If he wants to go for it, it's not the end of the world. But I'd rather him not just set rocks up for free if I don't have to. So he's Rocky Helmet and flinched. Okay, so let's see. What I can actually do pretty comfortably is go into uh, Salsa, my Breloom here. That's It is going to suck if he sets up rocks like that. However, as far as I'm aware, he doesn't have any sleep immunities on his team, unless he switches in Ditto. 
However, Ditto, like, Breloom's not really well equipped to take on itself, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, okay, so having Dusclops come in to eat the sleep is perfectly okay with me. I'm just going to run a quick calc here to see what plus two Breloom kind of does to Dusclops. Uh, if I'm adamant, or I'm not sure if I'm adamant or not. Life Orb. And plus two. Uh, suddenly Bullet Seed does a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this opportunity to set up a Sword Stance. That's if I can start pressuring him right off the bat, that's fantastic for me. And the other thing is that I don't care too much if he burns me, because, okay, well, there goes Dusclops. <laughs> because I have uh, Meloetta in the back with Heal Bell, that's... Yeah, just... Uh, the only thing that's concerning here is if he switches in Ditto right now, which he is. However, I'm not terribly concerned, that's, I'm pretty sure that, like, he pretty much has to click Mach Punch, and if he clicks Mach Punch, I can come in and threaten it out with something else. That's, do I have other options? Yeah, so I have Toxic on Falsetto now to deal with uh, the Pukumuku if I need to, I also have Taunt on it. So I'm just going to click Mach Punch, I'm probably going to eat a Mach Punch as well, but that's just the game that we play. Alright, so Dusclops, Breloom killed, he has Ditto, and he has, oh, there he goes, Breloom, but again, now that he is locked into Mach Punch, I can, let's see, what are my options? My options here are Falsetto, let's see how much... Come o takes from Breloom at plus two. Mock well, Punch does a lot, but it doesn't do that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into him or Polka. So either way is locked into Mock Punch. The other option is I don't think uh, Volcarona will take that much. If I go into Volcarona here... Uh, Mach Punch does a way more than I'm comfortable taking, but not too much. Uh, you know, it's sketchy business, but let's go ahead and go... Oh, but he has rocks out. Okay, that makes the decision really easy. It has to be, uh, Dragon Tail here. Let's pray that I don't miss. Otherwise, bad news for... Uh, my whole team, pretty much. That's I should have considered before setting up with Breloom that my strategy here is hinging on Volcarona kind of coming in to deal with it, so... Yeah, we'll see how this turns out. That may have been a fatal mistake already. Alrighty, and then his last Pokemon is Raichu. I had considered the Sand Slash lead, which now I'll think about next time that we face off. I could have just led with Como O and taunted it to stop that, but okay, so he's just going to go ahead and switch out his uh, Ditto, which is perfectly fine with us. So, what we want to do here is let's see, Como O is useful for what? Not really a whole lot. Uh, is there anything that's more valuable to switch in? I really don't want to switch Meloetta in because she doesn't have good physical defense. I don't want to switch Polka in. Yeah, I think Falsetto is just going to stay in and kind of attempt to 1v1 juice. Which is sketchy, I admit, but potentially not as sketchy as trying to switch something in. At this point, Falsetto is kind of my least valuable player. That's I was super glad that it was able to switch in and force Ditto out like that, but like, okay, yeah, and that's not going to do too much damage. So I don't mind that kind of damage at all, really. 
especially since I have lefties. The only thing that I'm concerned with is that... My only attacking move is Earthquake here, which isn't going to do a whole lot to a Mega Heracross. I'm guessing that it's like sub 20% probably. I'm running no attack like that, and I have Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake literally doesn't do anything. So, I'm just going to deal with this problem by clicking Dragon Tail. And actually, Sandslash coming out is perfect. Because, what I can do is also attempt to 1v1 this thing. That's Earthquake, won't do a ton to it, but it'll do enough. So I'm fine with that. If his crit is only doing 30% to me, and my regular was doing 20%, like, I am perfectly fine with that. And the other thing is that he doesn't have anything that he can switch into Earthquake, unless his Alolan Raichu is, uh... Whatchamacallit, Air Balloon. So yeah, that's... I'm going to win this encounter no matter what, so that's perfect. Como is going to more than likely net a kill on Sandslash. Great. And... Interestingly, he's going to switch in Como. Maybe he doesn't realize that my Como is like a full support build, kind of? But... Uh, again... This is something that Jazz can come in and easily force out, so I don't really know what the angle is here. I'm just going to kick, click Dragon Tail. He's going to click Dragon Tail as well, so that is perfectly fun. So here I have to consider the fact that um, Dragon Tail has negative priority, so that's really nice actually. I could come in and potentially knock off. What that would do is remove the scarf from this thing so that one of my two other scarfers, like regardless of what he comes in to copy, can outspeed it suddenly. Like for example now, if I did that and he copied Volcarona, uh, since Shaz has the same base speed, I could just come in and outspeed it. Or if he switches out to anything else, that's honestly fun too. Or I could go into Polka and click Zen Headbutt. That doesn't feel so good though, just because... Just because... Uh, let's see. The other thing is that I got to remember to keep options open for Pukumuku. Pukumuku is suddenly a extreme threat actually, just because... I lost both of my answers to it, kinda, which probably wasn't that smart, but we're just going to have to deal. I think what I'll go ahead and do is swap in Polka here. And I somehow don't think that he's going to stay in to Dragon Tail me, so I'm going to U-turn and see what he switches into. He does stay in to Dragon Tail me. So that's pretty unfortunate. Um, at this point... Hmm. Heat Mania is kind of my LVP here. It's my opportunity to sweep with it has been squandered. That is fine though. This time I will just click Zen Headbutt. Now I would assume that he probably switches out here, but I honestly can't have him just shuffling through my entire team for free. So we're just going to have to deal with the fact that this is more or less unfortunate, but not a huge deal. So he's going to Dragon Tail there and pull in Beat Mania. So that's unfortunate, but this is a point where. Let's see. I think I can throw in Jazz at this point, actually, and do.
Uh, what was it? I think I can throw in Jazz and actually click... Hmm. Yeah, no, I kind of have to go for Jazz here. Just because I have to get rid of or whittle down something. It doesn't matter what it is at this point, but something has to die. So what I need to look up really quick is how much Star Raptor does. So Double Edge is a clean to it KO on Juice. Let's see, that did also a clean to it KO. Okay, so this is kind of the point where now Star Raptor might be able to carry the fight for me. Because, let's see, how much HP do you get back? 6%? Okay, now we're going to play Ronder's favorite game. Who wants to die? There goes Pukamuku. Which doesn't matter, it wasn't walling anything particularly important anymore, but even so. Uh, so now we're playing this sketchy game, and I really don't want to play this game. I really can't play this game. So, what I unfortunately have to do is switch in... Switch in Serenade here. Serenade's uh, usefulness is kind of expired at this point. If he clicks U-turn, kudos to him, but... He's just going to go for Brave Bird. See, the other thing is that this way, Ditto kind of kills itself. That's my Meloetta wasn't doing anything important at this point anymore, and now Meloetta and Ditto kill each other, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, let's see. The main concerning thing here is the Alolan Raichu. If the Alolan Raichu is scarfed, then then we got issues. So either way, I have to go into Polka here, and I can only assume that the Alolan Raichu probably is scarfed if he's just going to go and do it like that. So I'm going to click U-turn here and find out really quickly if it's scarfed. It is not scarfed, it is sashed. Uh, oh no. Okay, but this is kind of okay. So Star Raptor is unfortunately going to die here. Oh, maybe not. Ooh. Okay. So I'm 99% sure that Raichu is not scarfed, so I'm going to click U-turn here. Kill the Raichu. Ah, uh, Jacob got greedy. Jacob got greedy and he's going to lose because of it. I am sorry, Jacob, but here's where I click Healing Wish and kill myself in true Polka fashion. She has healing magic, but she is cursed to die at a young age. Thank God for Healing Wish. GG, Jacob. That was way too close for comfort. Ah, uh, that was a stressful battle, down to a 1-0 already, right off the right out the gate. So I almost had a mini heart attack there because I forgot if Healing Wish healed before you eat uh, entry hazard damage or not. So that was almost a miscalculation on my part. I could have just started clicking uh, Zen Headbutts and hoped for the best, but. All in all, that was the best way to end the match. That's... I honestly gotta say that if Alolan Raichu was scarfed instead, I don't know if I could have won that match at that point, but... Uh, GG, Jacob. That was an incredibly close match, and I can't wait to replay you later in the season. Uh, okay, so that's going to wrap up this week one battle. I hope you guys all st uh, stand by for my week two match next week against... Uh, another of my division rivals, Josh, coach of the Galapagos Garchomps. Thanks for watching. Peace.